there was a famous scene in Straight Outta Compton when Cube went into priority with the baseball bat and pretty much tore shit up. And you guys brought that up in the interview. Uh, we briefly talked about it um, a couple years back, but you were one of the first to do that. You went into McCola and, and wrecked shit, right? Man, look. <laughs> you don't get to be the godfather not doing some gangster shit, okay? You know, I don't never, I don't, that, that ain't my calling card, okay? But I'm a Gemini. Push that motherfucking button and see what happens, okay? Don, they had brought in like 20,000 copies of Turn Off the Lights. Maybe 30, I don't know. And it was a I mean, it was a huge stack of records. And I knew how to get rid of them. Okay, Don did too. And my cousin had a big, my cousin had an old US, uh, he had an old um, U-Haul truck. But he was, he was doing stuff at the time. He said he was come back and get him on, on uh, Wednesday. I went by Don's on Tuesday. I talked to him on Monday. Told him I was coming back to get him on Wednesday. I stopped by there Tuesday for something else and half of them was gone. Half of this big ass stack of records was gone. Mm. And Don tells me to my face, uh, we had to start, we had to make some space, so we started grinding them up. You ain't ground, you haven't, you didn't grind up that many records that fast. Grinding up records is it takes some time. Then I asked him, where my jacket's at? Uh ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ah, ah. Because you go, you don't grind the records up with the jacket. You gotta take them out the jackets, grind your records up to put not the whole, you gotta. Let me tell you how to do that. Because you, you can't grind up the, um, the, the uh, label part. You got to mm -hmm. punch that out. Then you then you grind up the rest of the record, okay? Then you still got a stack of sleeves. You got a stack of sleeves and a stack of jackets left. All my records at that time were in jackets. The, the, uh, this one right behind me here, okay? So where, where, the, where the sleeves at? Where the jackets at? Uh, ooh, ah, 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 ooh, ah, ah. Damn. Okay? So it just so happened... When I walked out the, out, out the office, his, uh, his uh, secretary, she gave me the look, okay? All right, so I called her. She says, your record's over at um, some record jobber of Washington. And I knew where it was that I sold to her before. And sure enough, I rolled over there, and it was, they was like, still don't know. Next day, I went by Don's office, and uh, in unknown, they put something together. And uh, I said, I need, my, I need my goddamn money. What do you mean? What do you mean? I need my goddamn money. He was on the phone. I snatched the phone out of his hand. I need my motherfucking money right now. I'm going to kick your motherfucking old ass. Oh, what do you mean? What do you mean, Lonzo? I grabbed me. He had, he had some golf clubs. I don't know if he played or not, but I, tore, I teed off on this goddamn office. I didn't hit him. I ain't that stupid. I tore up his TV set, his motherfucking desk. And I just started beating up on the shit, just like Cube did in that goddamn movie. Long before Cube did it. And all of a sudden, he just threw, he threw me a rack of a stack of money. Already banned it up. He knew I was coming. Because I know they called him. He said, now I don't know what you did to Lonzo. But he mad the motherfucker, okay? And I started tearing up shit. He threw, threw me the goddamn money. I, I have some more, more money for you in 10 days. In 10 days, at least two weeks. Yeah, okay. So I got my record, came back, got the rest of my goddamn money 10 days later. And I still sell them records right to this fucking thing. It was that many records. I still got... It was, it was I'm, I'm no bullshit. I had just bought my house. I had just bought my house. And my house, my garage and my house had a, uh, the guy who owned it, Johnny Otis, he had, my garage was a rehearsal studio. Mm -hmm. He had a recording studio back in the back where we are right now. And he had a, a rehearsal studio in the garage. And when I bought the house because uh, it was a garage. They made me take the garage door off. The, the door, the, it wasn't the garage door in front of my house. There was no garage door. He had boarded it up. So the escrow and the inspectors made me tear the garage, tear that little, that little door off, made that little uh, wall off, and put a garage a garage door there. But I hadn't built the garage door yet. So when we went and got the shit from McCola, you look at my garage, I got from wall to wall records. And I started calling people on the phone. People, everybody I knew, my record still was selling. I was slaying the records like a mother for a while. And dude, right to this day, and that got to be 30 years ago, man. Right to this day, I still got about 250, 300 records in my garage. I'm not bullshit, okay? I just don't push them. I take them with me when I go on doing speaking engagements. 
right now it's just some of my merch that I sell because they kind of rare. They ain't really rare, but they're hard to find. They're harder to find than they used to be. And people tend to buy them a little bit, pay a little bit of money for them by signing. So yeah, let that's me. Really that was that's a perfect segue because uh, Anthony Holmes seventy one just said in the comments, "Sell me one of those world class albums, Lonzo." So um, email Lonzo. What's your what's your email, Lonzo? Real Lonzo NWA at Gmail. Two L's. Real Lonzo NWA at Gmail. And somebody call, uh, called me. Hit me up last week for an order. They hit me up. I forgot where they hit me at. They, hit, they wanted me to send them an invoice uh, from PayPal. And I just figured out how to do that shit. But I can't find the order. They said they wanted to buy all three of my items. And they wanted an extra comic book. And I can't figure out. I can't find the damn email or text or whatever they sent me. I can't find it. So if you're watching the show today or watch this video, please send me that. Uh, that uh, Please contact me again. Real Lonzo NWA at Gmail. Damn, there it is. Jacob Brown also says he needs a record. Email him and he'll make it happen, man. 